today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. Now there's a couple things I want to mention before I get started. Now first I wanted to say that I've noticed that a lot of my tutorials and a lot of my videos have kind of lean towards the longer side as far as time. Now a lot of the times it ends up being around, I would say between 10 and 13 minutes, and I really don't like that. I'm personally somebody who loves watching other people's YouTube videos. I'm always looking for new videos, I'm looking for new ideas, new techniques, anything like that that can help me improve as far as my makeup applications and anything like that, and just the way I personally apply makeup and just stuff like that. Um, I feel like I like watching people's videos, but when it starts to get really long, it's just a hassle for me. I don't like having to sit there for like 20 minutes when I probably could have been explained all that information in maybe 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I wanted to try and cut down the time of my videos. I know that this one's probably still going to be long, but I want to try and cut down on the time just because I know that a lot of you guys don't want to sit through a very long video, so I'm trying to get it hopefully down to maybe 5 to 7 minutes instead of 10 to 13. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that if you guys don't know the actual steps. Now I know a lot of the techniques I use are repeated throughout each tutorial and I re-explain the technique each time I have to use it. Um, if you guys don't understand certain techniques, what I can do is do another video on the side and do that video on basic makeup techniques and teaching you guys all the techniques that I use and I can always just refer you guys back to those videos which will teach you how to do it so that you can apply it to each makeup look that I create. So I'm hoping that that might be a better way for me to do it. It might cut down on time. It might just be a little bit easier for you guys for just watching purposes if you guys don't want to spend a lot of time just sitting and watching the same tutorial. Now I know in-depth kind of descriptions are good in my videos. I know a lot of people have told me already that they really like the way I describe things. They like that I kind of spend the time to describe things. And I really understand that. I know that that's something I personally was looking for when I was looking through videos is I wanted somebody to explain it really in-depth because I wanted to understand how to apply it. I didn't want to just kind of see how it applies on their eyes because you guys might have have different eye shapes than I do so if I say apply it into the crease which is right underneath your orbital bone that's easier for you to find your own crease instead of me just kind of showing you where I apply it and you just kind of applying it in that same general area it will probably help you guys as far as trying to tailor it to your own eye like shapes so I feel like that might be better if I just do techniques on the side because you'll still learn the basic techniques I'll still be explaining the basic techniques but at the same time it's not taking time out of my tutorials um Another thing I wanted to say, now in a lot of my tutorials coming up, I will have my hair up. I tend to not want to wear my hair down a lot in the summer. It's just because it gets really hot and it's just really annoying because I have very thick, coarse hair that just is very unruly during the summer. Now mine is straightened right now so it probably doesn't look curly or anything. But I tend to wear my hair up just because it gets really hot in the summer and it's just easier for me to keep it up and out of the way. If that bothers any of you, please tell me and I will fix that. But it's just a lot easier for me to have it up in tutorials instead of having it down and in the way. Plus, it's easier for me to actually do the tutorial and show you guys all the steps and everything with my hair out of the way. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to zoom in really quickly so you guys can see the final look. So this is the look and... What really attracted me to it is this kind of bright blue eyeliner. Now, I layered two eyeliners to get this look, so if you guys like that, you can try that. If you have a less pigmented eyeliner that you want to try to make pop, you can layer it on top of a darker eyeliner, and that will just help the color show up a little bit more. So that's what I did there, and it's just a lot of purples and blues in the crease, and then again here on the lower lash line and waterline. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to zoom out really quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see how to get it, just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my eye with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I just have mine in this little travel size jar, but I just took some of that, applied that to my lid. Now what I'm going to do is go into my 88 Tropical Shimmer Palette and I'm taking this gold color right here. And I'm going to use this on my lid. So the brush that I'm using for that is this brush and it's the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to take some of that product onto that brush. Tap off the extra because you don't want really any fallout since it is a shimmery color. And then what I'm going to do is apply this here to my lid. Then when I have this placed, I'm going to go into a crease brush. 
which is the Sonia Kashuk one. It's just a small dome crease brush. And what I'm going to do is take the NYX 10 Color Runway palette in the shade Versus. And I'm going to take this purple from the palette, pick up some of that purple, and blend it around the gold. Now you want to blend this up since this will be our transition color as well. Okay, so once I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go into this Avon quad, and this is one of their true color quads in the colors Denim Blues, and I'm going to mix these two top shades, and the shades are Periwinkle and Navy, and I'm going to mix them onto a small Sonia Kashuk brush, which looks like this, and you want to make sure that you tap off all the fallout, because it does have a lot of fallout, and these aren't super pigmented, so you want to just make sure you can build it up nicely, instead of having all the eyeshadow fall onto your face. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to apply this here along the outer corner of my eye. And before I blend this out, I'm actually going to go into the same palette that we just used, which is the ADA Tropical Shimmer Palette. And I'm going to take this kind of silvery gray right here in the outer corner. I'm going to take that onto the same brush, just a little bit of that product, not too much. Tap off the extra again, and then apply this here right on top of those blues. And this will just give it more of a smoky look. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to go back into that Sonia Kashuk brush and just start to blend this out and pull it into my crease. Okay, so once you're done with that, what I'm actually going to do is take any one of the kind of shimmery whites from the 88 palette, and I'm going to take just a little bit of that, tap off the extra, and just place this here along the inner corner of my lower lash line, take a little bit more, and then place that here along the inner corner of my upper lash line. And then once I have that, I'm going to work on my eyeliner. For my waterline, I'm actually going to use one of my jumbo pencils by NYX, and it's in the shade, hold on, um, purple. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to apply this here into my waterline. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. All I'm going to do is apply my eyeliner and mascara. I'll come back and show you what I did on the rest of my face. Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm just going to move on to my cheeks and my lips. Now for my cheeks, I use my Coastal Scent 6 Color Contour and Blush Palette. Just because I haven't used this in a while. I probably used this in one of my recent tutorials, but I've never worn this out in a while. So I have this for my contour, which is the contour shade in the palette. And then I use this and this mixed together as a blush on my cheeks. And I just apply that to the back of my cheeks and then blended it towards my apples. For my highlight, I used this palette. It's just a miscellaneous palette. It really doesn't have a name to it and I mix this shade and this shade together so I'm gonna swatch them for you separately and then I'm gonna mix them together so you can see what it looks like so this is that marbleized shade that kind of lighter shade this is the more tan shade and then this is what it looks like when they're all mixed together so this is the mix the darker shade and then the lighter shade so that's what they look like. For my eyeliners, I actually used a couple. I actually don't have one out here. Hold on, let me just grab it. Um, the one that I used first is the e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Midnight, and it's just a dark navy blue. And then on top of that, I used this kind of miscellaneous, just kind of electric blue eyeliner. And I can do a swatch for you guys if you want to see. There we go. It's just kind of a shimmery blue eyeliner and that's what it looks like and it's not super pigmented it really doesn't show up too well when you just apply it on top of your upper lash line so I wanted to kind of pair these together because the dark kind of contrast will help bring out the kind of bright color of this blue so I used those and layered them on top and then I winged them out slightly in the outer corner for my mascara, I use my Maybelline Falsies mascara like always. And then for my lip gloss, I use this one by Sephora. It's one of their, um, it just says lip gloss, but then it's in the shade Hot Coral. It's just one of the, like the tube lip glosses, and that's what it looks like. And it looks kind of dark and intimidating in the tube, but in person it's actually kind of wearable, and you can share it out or build it up to your liking. Um, the next thing is I also tried something new for my brows. Tell me if this is a brow color that actually looks okay on me. I'm not really sure on whether or not I actually like this, but this is my Pink Pot in Groundworks, and it just looks like this. I do have a swatch on my hand. 
which is that right there, just because I applied it to my hand first before I applied it to my brows. But I find that when I apply this to my eyes as a primer, it kind of gives me an almost tired look. I, my eyes kind of droop down. They really don't look that flattering. So I'm kind of on the... I don't know, I really have a love-hate relationship with this. It's a very pretty color, but it makes my eyes look very tired, so I never really like wearing it as an eye primer. Um, but I felt like maybe it would work as an eyeshadow. My brows are actually a lot lighter now because I trim them a lot because I find that I want to be able to shade them in whatever color that I want, so I try to trim them enough to where it kind of isn't such a defined brow naturally. I know that a lot of people say that that's not good to do, anything like that, but I personally like that just because I like being able to change up the color of my brow, making it darker or lighter depending on what I feel. Um, so I've been using this for the past two days. I'm not really sure how much I like it. Um, please just tell me if it's something that looks okay on me. I'm not really sure. I want to have someone else's opinion. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this look. Um... There's really nothing else I can say about it. If you like it, please comment below telling me what you guys think. I'm also going to hopefully start to post on my blog again. I'm not really sure how well it's going to work out. I know I can't post this look because I actually have to go somewhere really quickly after I'm done filming this. But if you're somebody who likes seeing the pictures and the list of products all laid out for you, I, will pr I promise that I will try to get my blog up and running again. If you want to know what that is, I will have a probably annotation right here as well as a link in the bottom bar to my blog. I haven't posted on that in a couple months, so I want to start getting back into that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this look, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!